All right, shalom, shalom. This is the brother Amawan. I'm going to start off by giving all the praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rekha Kodash. I'm going to give double honors as always to the apostles, our apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well and who taught us this truth through the Spirit. So peace and blessings, salutations to you, Arkham, out there that's doing this work in the name of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. And also much blessings as well to the remnant of Israel that's destined for salvation out of this wicked world and those that, that believe on the names of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai through the Spirit <clears throat> so yeah I was going to actually do um, a different lesson but I was just going through the news real quick and this came to my you know this came to my sight so you know, through the Spirit I thought I'd just quickly do a lesson on this instead you know I've done, you know, I recently done not that long ago, a lesson on, on you know, the chariots and stuff, man. But, you know, you know the Spirit has got me to do this one right now. So it's going to be a real quick one. But, yeah, man. So it says Elon Musk addresses UFO reports, right? So we know what the, we know what they are. We know what they are, right? But um, these guys, they think it's a joke. That's what they, if they If they understood what it really was, they wouldn't be messing around like this. You know, talking all these all this crap, you know, on in the news and you know in the media and in social media and on Twitter and all of this. So it says SpaceX and Twitter CEO Elon Musk referred on Sunday to a rash of UFO reports as his alien friends visiting Earth. A series of unidentified objects have been spotted around the world since the US shot down an alleged Chinese surveillance balloon and two other objects. And it's weird. It's not since that. The, 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 these have been documented for centuries, let alone, um, uh, you know, this century or decades, man. There's portraits. Right? There's old, sorry, not portraits, but there's old paintings of, of um, you know, sp uh, depicting different um, some, uh, scenes and scenarios throughout history. And those people have painted, um, and some people, and I'm going to try and do a video on this if I can get gather enough um, information on it. But the, the people who have painted these pictures have, have depicted chariots in them, man. So the chariots have always been seen. They've been seen long before uh, footage, or camera footage and, 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 and um, you know, pictures being shot. They, they've been documented, well documented, right? This is not a, these are not a new thing as we already know. These, these go back to the beginning, man. All right? These are the vehicles of the angels of Yahweh Barshami Yahweh Shai, man. And these are the same things that the Yahweh Shai is going to, is returning with, man. All right? And they're not Elon's friends, man. Because they're coming to destroy the likes of him and his cohorts, man. Because he comes across like he's a, you know, he's like the, he's like the Willy Wonka, you know. You know, Charlie and the Chocolate Frenchy. He comes across like he's the Willy Wonka of, of CEOs out there, man. Mr. Friendly. You know, I'm for the people and all this sort of stuff. And, you know, you don't, don't take me too seriously. No, man, he's 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 very much involved the same way as the rest of these guys are, man. So these chariots that are going to return, they're not his friends, man. They're going to come back to destroy him as well as the rest of them. So he says, don't worry, the billionaire tweeted. Just some of my alien friends of mine stopping by. Nah, man. That when they when they do stop, but like I said, they're coming to destroy your ass. <coughs> so um yeah, it's just talk about that that balloon business, man. But I want to show you this real quick, and I'm just gonna gather some scriptures, get some scriptures, man. So this is in, on Twitter, and this is and I now unidentified flying object spotted in the sky of Uruguay. Uruguay Air Force is investigating the matter. What is happening in this world? Well, what's happening in this world is the Most High is beginning to visit. Yeah, that's why you're getting all these wars and rumors of wars, earthquakes, and uprisings of the people. According, you know, like it says in Matthew 24 and all of that. You know, all the, these prophecies are beginning to come to pass, man. That's why you got these bankers talking about and governments talking about CBDCs and all this sort of stuff. Right, it's happening. It's happening now. Right, yeah, how was I? You know, it's gonna be back back soon, man. In this in these chariots. That's what's happening to the world, man. The world as we know it, as these Edomites rule it, and the other elites and, and, and these heathens, is coming to an end. 
Let me show you this quick video. Adelante se pierde y siempre tiene el mismo. Ah, hay otra ni, no, que es un estrella. Se apagó. No, no, ahí está, viste, como que va girando y siempre el mismo ¿Viste? Claro, vuelve para atrás, mira. ¿Viste? ¿Qué carajo es eso, vos? Como que va girando. Siempre en el mismo lugar, aparte. Eso no es un avión. Mirá, ¿viste? Como que viene más atrás. Incluso. Te vos cansulé. Y la luz más atrás, mirá. Y ahí aparece otra vez. Y ahí aparece otra vez. ¿Cómo? You see that? And you know, those that are in the know have seen those uh, many times, man. They even seen them many times, but we we at least know what they are. All right, they are the chariots of Yahweh Bar Shemi Yahweh Shai. All right, uh, we just lost peace here. It says, despite once referring to himself as an alien trying to get back to my home planet. Musk is skeptical about the existence of intelligent life outside Earth. In a speech at last year's 20, uh, G20 summit in Indonesia, he said that humankind may one may one day discover alien civilizations or civilizations that existed millions of years ago. However, he declared in 2018 that the existence of these civilizations is not certain and the, that humans should preserve the light of consciousness of becoming by becoming a space-faring civilization. No, no, we, we, you know, the men of the law, the law will be number, in that number. When your house comes back and sets the record straight, yeah, we will be space-faring, man. Don't, remember your house says, in my, in my father's house, there are many mansions, right? And he says, I go to prepare a place for you. Right? So those many mansions, these are the, all the other planets. If father, this father's house is, our Heavenly Father's house as well. He's our Father as well. Is the universe, man. And all that's in it. And those houses are those other planets. So we'll be, be, we'll be, be able to do it. We'll be able to do that. He's not going to be doing that. Because when Yahweh comes back, he's going into slavery like the rest of these wicked heathens, man. All right. And, but the, thing, and the point is the matter is as well that people are going to listen to Elon Musk say, tell you that you know, it's not certain. So they're going to listen to what he's got to say. And that's fine. Because everyone's going to see, man. Everyone's going to see. Right? Everybody is going to see when you have a show returns. I might as well get that straight away. Revelation 1 and 7 says, Well, behold, he cometh through clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall well because of him. Even so, on my so listen, it says he come up with clouds, and we know that, as you know, we said it a million times, the clouds are synonymous with the chariots, man. It says every eye shall see him, so everybody's going to know in that day, Yahweh Shai has come back. They're going to see him. They're going to see what he looks like. They're going to see that he looks like us, and they're going to know that they're done for, right? And and <clears throat> it says, and all kindreds of the earth shall well because of him. So that, that that's showing you that <clears throat> when Yahweh comes back, he ain't friendly. He's gonna he ain't gonna be friendly with these other people, man. Only of the elect have um that he they have the closest of Yahweh Shai, man. Right? He's coming back to redeem, basically um uh you know abduct <clears throat> his elect into the chariots, man, and destroy whoever else. You know, saving the saving the, the few that need that need to be um, remaining alive to build up the kingdom, man. All right, but there's a death coming, man. Elon Musk ain't got no alien friends, man. All right, they they and they're not aliens; they're angels and chariots, man. All right. <clears throat> Yeah, let me get, so I'm just gonna get a couple of scriptures, man. Like I said, it's not gonna be a long, a long one at all. Isaiah sixty six, fifteen says, "Before behold, the Lord will come with fire, and with chariot, and with his, with his chariots like a whirlwind, to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh." And the slain of the Lord shall be many. 
let's just get a word there to want to show because you can imagine what sometimes when these Christians read these words man right and they don't under, understand what's going on so when it says plead it says to judge, govern, vindicate, punish to act as lawgiver or judge or governor to rule, govern, judge to decide controversy of, to execute judgment, condemning and punishing at, at theophanic advent for final judgment. To be judged. So, you know, Shapat or Shapat, you know, like the valley of Yahweh Shapat is where that controversy is going to be, be going to begin, man. All right. The valley of Yahweh's judgment. That's what that means. So yeah, to plead is not to be to beg like what the English language, you know, the way the way they use it in the English language. Man, no, he's coming back to judge, right? And Elon Musk, you're gonna be one of the. You're gonna be like up the up there on that list. All right. <coughs> Um, so like, yeah, just trying to think. Like it, hold on. Let me uh, uh where is that? There it is. Psalm sixty eight. And 17 says, the chariots of the Most High are 20,000, even thousands of angels. The Lord is among them, as in Sinai, in the holy place. So, you know, and that's not a, you know, that's not a definitive number. That's just to, to tell you that the, the chariots are plenty, man. Right? You know, they, 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 they're out and they're always there. They're always there, man. And you see how the, that article tried to try to play it like, oh, just be, because the, you know, because the um, the balloon was shot down. Now we're seeing all these strange things. No, you're what you're trying to do is cover up the this whole incident or bring up this distraction, basically, about this whole um, balloon business, and at the same time use that to cover up the truth that like the chariots are out there, man. Because I can guarantee. That some of the higher ups know what these things are, right? You know they act like they they will they will have you believe that you know this is their rare sightings, man. But people are seeing them all the time, right? Not not to mention the the argument, the the brothers in this truth, and the believers, man. Not just the brothers, you know. I'm pretty sure. Uh, women have seen them that are the, the few women that are, are believers of this truth are seeing them too man but the heathens see them man all the time enough so that it should be it it, it it should be something that's heavily reported in the news man but they need to they need to for them they need to cover it up because uh you know, imagine, imagine, you know, what what would happen if they come out and said, yeah, well, you know, the UFOs are real and they're the enemy. And, you know, they're going to, they're coming to destroy us, man. The people will bug out and lose their minds. So they have to keep certain things under wraps, man. But we can't wait for them. That We can't wait for that. This is, I'm going to read this last piece. I want to close out here. So uh, Luke 21 
and 25 says, And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring, men's hearts failing them for fear and looking after those things which are coming on the earth for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. The powers of the heaven on this earth, meaning the governments, man. Right? The rulership. Right? And this is when you have Shah's coming back, man. All right. The major prophet, one, the major prophecy, apart from you know World War Three and the, and and the MOTB, right? Yahweh Shah's return, man. That's big time. That is the, when that happens, yeah. That's when everyone's gonna know that well, all the scoffers and the scorners and all the unbelievers and the atheists and and the Islam, um, the the Muslims and the and the Buddhists and the and the so-called Christians and the Catholics and all of them agnostics, whatever you want to call these people out there that, that don't understand what's going on and don't have the truth, they're all going to know the truth in that day, and they'll and the, and that's it. Case closed, man. Now you know, now you know for sure because you're seeing him, and you're seeing him, and you're seeing his 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 army, man, and you're seeing his his men being raised up. So that's it. No more questions asked to be asked, man. Yes, there is a there is a Most High and there is a Savior. Now you know, and we can't wait for that, man. Verse twenty seven says, "And then shall they see the Son of and who's the they? Everybody, everybody on the earth, man. And then sh and then shall they see the Son of Man, Yahweh Shaddai, is coming in a cloud." Uh, coming on that father shit, man. You know that 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 one that one that's so big, you know that um, it's like a mountain, man. You know, it's that big that you can't, you know, you can't see the end of it. <clears throat> In fact, I'm gonna get. I need to get another scripture now. I've said that. One more. It says, and the, and when these things come begin to come to pass. Then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption, draweth nigh. All right, so uh, let me jump into the apocrypha real quick. Hopefully, it's not going to play some food. All right, cool. Um, I think I'm in the right place. Yeah, right. Okay, this will be the last one. So, because you know we're talking about the chariots, the return, man, and how you know he, they're trying to play it off, man. But in that day, they're gonna they ain't gonna be playing it off. Right, they, this this that's gonna be a war, a war that they have no chance of of winning, a war that's already won. I'll put it like that. This war is the war is over already before it's even begun. They they're not going to win. They cannot win. There's only one outcome. It's in the scriptures, man. Their downfall is on the way. So this is Second uh, Ezra chapter thirteen. I'll start from the top, and it says, "And it came to pass after seven days, I dreamed a dream by night, and lo, there arose a wind from the sea, that it moved all the waves thereof, and I beheld, and lo, that man waxed strong." With the thousands of heaven, you know that twenty thousand we just read, you know with the, with the you know the thousands of angels, and and it says, you know the thousands of heaven. That's that's the that's the angels, man. And when he turned his countenance to look, all things trembled that were seen under him. You know, every eye shall see him, and 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 well be and well because of him. And that's that trembling, man. And whensoever the voice went out of his mouth, all they burned that heard his voice, like as the earth faileth when it feeleth the fire. And that's them laser beams coming out of them chariots, man. They're looking to burn up this place, man. Because this this is a cleanse this is a cleansing that's happening. The first cleansing was the with water, the flood, and this is the second cleansing that's coming. Why? Because the world is in, in disarray. Complete and utter wickedness and iniquity, man, is thick with it, riddled beyond belief. If 
you was to if you was to be let's say you was from the 1500s or the 1200s or whatever and you was to be brought time travel and brought into this time you would not believe what you'd be seeing you think you was in another planet Uh, verse 5 says and after this I beheld and lo there were gathered together a multitude of men out of number from the four winds of the heaven to subdue this the, the man that came out of the sea and I beheld and lo he had graved himself a great mountain and threw up upon it and that's the big chariot man right but I would have but I would have seen the region or place where out the hill was graven and I could not so big that he couldn't see the end of it, man. And after this, I beheld, and lo, all they which was gathered together to subdue him were sore afraid, <clears throat> and yet durst fight. Right, so, you know, that's one of the points I wanted to get to, man. Even though you know, the, 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 the unbelievable terror that they'll be facing, man, they're going to have the spirit on them to fight so they can be destroyed. There'll be no running in that day. It's a war that they're going to be decimated completely and utterly. Them chariots cannot be touched. They cannot be shot down. They can't be outmaneuvered. All right. None of that's going to happen. Every chariot that comes, that enters into the battle, will remain in the battle and will lead, and will end the battle. The, the chariots don't crash. All that talk of that Roswell bull that they talk about, they got area 51 and they got they got ufos they ain't got no they ain't got none of the laws of ufos man whatever ufos they got down there ain't real because they they can't be touched man you know, there's a video somewhere in the middle east where you got soldiers trying to shoot one of them down and it's outmaneuvering the bullets in the sky with ease like bit like it's like it knows where the bullets are going to be before they get there so it's already moving out of the way man these are spiritual vehicles Powered by the spirit, and that, and that's according to Ezekiel, man. <clears throat> uh, verse nine says, "And lo, as he as he saw the violence of the multitude that came, he neither lifted up his hand, nor held sword, nor any instrument of war, but only I saw that he sent out of his mouth, as it had been a blast of fire, and out of his lips a flaming breath." And out of his tongue he cast out sparks and tempest. And they were all mixed together, the blast of fire, the flaming breath, and the great tempest, and fell with violence upon the multitude which was prepared to fight, and burned them up every one, so that upon a sudden of an innumerable multitude nothing was to be perceived, but only dust and smell of smoke. And when I saw this, I was afraid. Ezra is, is a prophet of the Lord, man. You know, you're right to fear the Lord, man. But, you know, we don't fear the Yahushua coming back, man. We're looking forward to it. We can't wait. It's all we... It's like a background noise there. It's all we care about. <clears throat> you know? It's all we care about. Getting out of this place, man. So we can live in righteousness. And we can see the downfall of our enemies, man. And we can live live life. We wanna we wanna meet our we wanna meet our savior, man. You know. We wanna meet our savior. We we wanna meet the one who was sacrificed in order for us to even be able to be here teaching this word and having the hope of salvation, man. Having that hope that we're gonna be on those chariots when he comes back. All right. So, <clears throat> that's all I got, man. So, um, you know, Lord willing, this was edifying, you know, through the Spirit. I'm going to give all the praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh, Shai, or Seka, Halal, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh, Shai, Bahasham, Rakah, Halash. And, uh, yeah, with that, I'll say Shalom to the next one.